Okay, good. Good to start. Um, I don't know which time zone you are, but uh, um, as I could just summarize, they have three three time zones. But anyway, it's a, it's a, a good morning in Spain. It's a very happy to meet in this way. I hope we can see each other uh, sooner in person to person. Okay. The talk, um, so I came up with this title, but is it the coming decades? The era of I will share some thoughts and some things. Uh, Dr. Dr. Feng, could you yes? come a little closer to the mic? I think your voice is a little bit choppy, I think. Okay. It, um, how, how is it now? Yeah, it's a little better. Yes. Thank you. So it's not good enough. I can use. No, now is okay. Now is okay. Go ahead. It's okay. 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 Um, so this I summarize the, the this is my No, sorry, sorry. It's not not okay. I don't know. I thought we did that like testing, but I think it's okay. still choppy. I think if you're using speakerphone, maybe that's what it is. Yes, I use speak for now. Uh, um, I don't know if I get closer, it still doesn't work. It still doesn't work. It was okay yesterday. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's still it cuts off and cuts on. I think if we can, if you can try, uh, if you can try ho holding it close to you, maybe. Or headphones or something. I think it was okay, okay. when you ran through. Okay. Um, so, anyway, instead of uh, waiting here, I will try to talk and hopefully can hear me. As of now, I get to call the Yes. Oh, it was okay in the run through. <laughs> Sorry. It, it's it's not. Is it, do you have the headset that you used for the test dry run? I have the headset. So we need to wait one extra minute. I don't have the headset. Okay. I better use the computer. Oh, not yesterday, Tuesday. Uh, I think we have we have a challenge because it's very hard to hear, and I'm sure the attendees have a have the same issue. Okay. Uh, but how about you this? See my... Yeah. You see yeah. my screen, okay? Yeah, screen is good. Screen is good. Okay. If you one option is you now could probably. Now I have the headphones. Let's see if that's working. Okay, we'll give it a minute. Again. How, how's it now? Oh, perfect. This is why, yeah, this is, I, you know, this is why we want to make sure the attendees know this is live. It's not recorded. <laughs> <laughs> so we did a testing, huh? Yeah, good. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Anyway, I will, I will just uh, be very uh, perfect on time. Hopefully I can grab, get back to um, the schedule. So for I just the first slides I share how uh, if we look back to the past 20 years uh, for the um, industry, how the industry has changed, not only for network, the, uh, the, the whole in computing world. Um, if we look back the first 10 years of the century from 2000 to uh, 2010, I think it's an era of big data. So we have Hadoop, we have Spark, we have Kafuka, we have uh, Flume. There, there are many, a, a whole family of technology to process big data. And we are quite successful. Um, when I say we, I mean, think the, the, the entire industries. And um, we're quite successful, improve the efficiency of processing big data, and we dramatically lower the costs. And then. For the past 10 decades, um, given uh, the chips to do computing is way beyond CPU. So we have GPU, TPU, MPU, ASIC, FPGA, 
there are various forms of the computing uh, which fit to different kinds of compute. Um, now is the coming to the um, new 10 years in front of us. Is, is, the, is the coming decades is the era of network? This is, um, I try to pose this question for our community because uh, for, uh, the network has gone through lots of dramatic changes. For example, the autonomous network of 5G and we use IP inside of our IP network and um, the network is going to be more intelligent way more than before. So given that um, I, I, I tried to propose this concept is before the network is designed to, to transfer data, transfer information, uh, it's served dramatically. It's the main task is for network is to serve people. Um, beyond serving people, I'm thinking the new task, new mission for network is serving computing. How we can we can transfer data, transfer knowledge, and make them secure and robust, and serve the computing uh, uh, forces. Like when I say computing, it's not only cloud computing itself, and also private computing and ubiquitous computing everywhere. So there are three kinds of computing which I think uh, call for change for the network. The first set of computing is uh, um, the computing for artificial intelligence. We know AI has uh, improved a lot. And uh, for last year, 2021, um, the performance of AI components, um, at least one third of the open data uh, AI technology has um, show performance better than human. And how we can deliver this um, intelligence to uh, majority of the people, let them to enjoy the technology. So I'm thinking the network is the key here to transfer uh, data, information, knowledge, environment for the um, intelligence computing. And if you if we look at the papers, the researches and the developments of the last year, you can see this this trend is happening already now. Uh, second um, type of computing is uh, graph computing. Uh, when I say graph computing, we all hear about the metaverse, um, which is how to make our digital world from 2D to 3D and from uh, you are part, you are watcher of this, your screen to be part of your screen, which means the virtual world, the um, augmented reality, and to come to uh, the new uh, set of experience, it's like the uh, metaverse presented. And also for HPC. Um, so I'm thinking the computing will be the new mission uh, beyond service, uh, beyond the information for the network. So uh, how we can uh, tend to the network to meet this new new mission. Um, so we propose here, there are three kinds of change. One is uh, we have to handle uh, the uh, orchestrator, not only network, you also need to um, jointly um, orchestrator the ubiquitous computing uh, forces. Um, as I said, it's not only cloud edge, uh, it's also uh, computing on terminals, um, on, on many IoT devices, and how, how we can seamlessly um, uh, do the orchestrator, uh, do, the, do the orchestration so that we can do the computing at the lowest costs and uh, the best efficiency. So um, there, for network, um, uh, along the past a couple of years, Inside the China Mobile, we have focused on three levels. And the management and also the service layer. So when we do the uh, network trans transformation, um, we um, also, so artificial intelligence, the, the intelligence technology has been a, um, um, one of the, if it's not one of the, it's the, the fundamental enabling technology we rely on. 
So this slide, I share the strategic goal on autonomous network, which is China Mobile last year set the, uh, set the strategic goal on autonomous network, which means to reach, uh, achieve level four autonomous network by 2025. Um, so here I show the timeline and for, for from 2021 to 2022 is from L2 to L3. And then uh, later on, we go from L3 to L4. Um, so where we are now, um, by working on this uh, quite a challenging uh, objective. And so we have um, deployed our intelligent platform applications capabilities. Uh, to over uh, 12 branches. You can, you can think of the branches are 20 provinces. And uh, we have uh, two, over 200 and, uh, capabilities. Most of them are AI capabilities for network available for the entire China mobile network. And there are over 6 million APIs. Now we have over 6 billion API calls per day um, on, for autonomous network and the intelligent network. So we come up, came up uh, a metric to evaluate. So now our uh, autonomous network level, it's uh, for, for last year's from 1.8 to 2.1. Um, so uh, now I talk about the, the last uh, point of my talk is that we have, we have worked closely. We have benefited a lot. Um, in a uh, from the open source community, open source codes, and uh, uh, our developers have to contribute a lot thanks to the community. Um, we also enjoy the open data. Um, now we are proposing a new way of collaboration is open platform. So before we have standard, we build our equipment, so we build our network, and then we have our service. So for the new platform, we pull together. Uh, different resources in, 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 in a more closer way. Um, so I uh, proposed uh, three types of uh, uh, collaboration. Uh, one is for environment. So we bring together uh, different open source codes and also uh, commercial software um, and um, hardware. Um, the hardware in the commercial world, also the white box of hardware into um, one environment, which uh, has been partially open now to the community um, and developers and different uh, parts of the industry line can work together. Because uh, if we want to have a full autonomous network, we have to have a safe environment where we can talk and we can test. Uh, second is data. Um, we last year we opened for the past two years, we have shared uh, four bigger data sets to the uh, community, to the entire world uh, for competition. Uh, last year we, we did a great job with I, ITU. So here we hope we can work with uh, the companies in this community and the LFN to do a better job to so jointly uh, host this competition so based on the end to end lab environment with more data. So uh, for other industries, the data is the big drive for, um, uh, for the change. And the third one is testing. Uh, in, inside China Mobile, because we rely on our own technology, we also rely on the technology provided by, by our vendors, by our collaborators. So we have, uh, uh, came up a whole facility for testing. So I'm thinking for the open platform, the testing is important in the LFN community. We have done a lot, LFN has done a lot for uh, supporting the testing. Hopefully we can find a better way to collaborate uh, for the new objective for testing. Um, with that, uh, hope we can have this common task uh, for joint LFN task force for the open source network transformation. So for the TAC, TDF, CVC can uh, work together uh, to um, come up um, a new, uh, new uh, task to pull 
the resources together so we can move one step ahead. Um, with that, it's my talk. Um, I will see if there's questions. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, a, sorry for the... No, no, no worries, no worries. If you could stop sharing, then I think we can uh, just okay. have the stop. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, so for everybody on the, on the, uh, who's joined, you can uh, write your question in the Q&A bar uh, and we will get it answered. Uh, but um, would love to know, uh, would love to know your thoughts on, you know, 5G and 6G and the transition beyond the intelligence mm -hmm. of the network, at least from my perspective. Yeah, uh, thank you for the question. So uh, I see you have one slide to summarize the key features of the 6G. Um, there's a much bigger team inside the China Mobile working for 6G, but there's one of the key features is intelligence uh, for 6G. Uh, that's the part we were, we we propose this open platform, which is having open to uh, many universities in, in China, um, is a way we can work together in an open platform for uh, the key features of, of 6G. That's how we see the connection here. Okay. And there is a question on how does SDN play a part in the future? Okay. Uh, so I'm not an expert in SDN, um, but um, it's um, uh, for SDN is it's quite important for us, and um, it's not the group I'm leading now. Uh, but I'm thinking for future for um, we also, um, from my perspective, we were also trying to how to make um, SDN um, autonomous and and intelligent. So basically inside China Mobile, so we have over a thousand, um, you can see the network operation or management processes. Um, among them, um, that what involves a lot of uh, uh, equipment and also software and the different layers. So for each of these process, we analyze the possibility to make them autonomous, make them intelligent. So among them 780, uh, we think um, are ready for that change, now, including the ones with SDN. Um, that's how we drive our, our, the, the, the autonomous level from L2 to L4. So if we can make all these processes more autonomous and intelligent, we kind of track our ways of improve. That's the same for SDN too. Yeah, no, that's that's good. Very good. Thank you. And we, again, uh, we're, very fascinating talk. We were just like, I was looking at it, very forward-looking uh, vision, right, of, of kind of moving beyond testing open source pieces into kind of the platform, uh, including tests and labs and things like that. So we're really excited about that vision. And we also appreciate the support. There's one more question and there's time for one more which is okay. um, much more distributed computing architecture might be needed for edge. So edge compute, uh, what, what are your thoughts on that? How, how would you handle the edge compute part of it? Thank you, it's a great question. I, I, I totally agree. Um, I'm thinking as for, for, as I said, for AI computing, for graph computing um, and and many new coming um, commercial needs on industries who needs that digital transformation change also. So edge computing is the key here. It's not only edge, we're thinking is, so before we think there's edge, there's terminal, there's clouds, um, actually when you do it, it's, you don't have that discrete um, components to do computing. So the, the computing resources and the forces are more kind of general and ubiquitous. So when we have a new, when we have a um, um, customer who posts a need, so we have to, we have to connect all these resources, and the computing resources, the facility, also the software, the components. So when for typical for us, 
for a typical uh, industry um, um, request, um, often we need six or six to eight um, artificial intelligence components to serve, uh, plus probably uh, two times uh, the other pieces of technology to bring together. And how we can distribute this computing, which so you have that piece of the software and capability, how you can distribute that into the ubiquitous computing facilities to maximize the efficiency and the, and the lower the costs. I'm thinking that's the optimization is a challenge for the networks. Uh, so in, in that case, we can enable not only the uh, network and cloud computing industries, the overall, the general, like uh, Arpe, you, you share one slide, it's which industries that we focus on to serve first. Um, um, I'm thinking it's, it's quite, that's why we propose this. We need an environment to try. Because we cannot, it's, it's hard to try and testing in real. So we need some, uh, a facility. Um, we can try beyond we share data, beyond we share open source, uh, source codes. We also need to share the same environment so we can work together better. Very good. Thank you very much. I think we're at time. Uh, okay. uh, but we'll answer thank all you. the remaining questions uh, offline. But thank you very much sure. for, for the talk. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.